I am Jeff Tidball from Atlas Games. Uh, Kyla McTee, the producer of Cogs and Commissars, is here with me. We want to talk to you a little bit about one of the things that is the very coolest thing about Cogs and Commissars, and that is the way that these different cards interact uh, in order to generate some extremely interesting gameplay. So uh, we talked a little bit about how there are Blitz cards that have these blue lightning bolts on them, and then there are action cards which have these gears on them. So action cards, cards that you play on your turn to do a thing at a specific time. Blitz cards, cards that you can play any time that you want in order to take some action or to modify other actions. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how these work together. Absolutely. So there are some relatively kind of obvious interactions, I guess. If you play an action card on me that I don't like, there are cards like this Stifle Free Speech card, which counters a card when it plays. That seems like a relatively obvious thing to do. Um, That's what you want to play with as soon as somebody plays their Revolution. Exactly. So the Revolution card you have to play in order to win the game, but that card can be countered. Exactly. So that is, uh, yeah, absolutely so. Um, Higher Assassin is a card that lets you send someone else's citizen to the gulag. That's normally an action card, but one of the things that you can do is send one of your own proletariats to the gulag in order to make it a blitz. So you could play multiples of those per turn, whereas normally you're, you're modified to do that. Or you can even play that in response to someone else. So let's say you're going to win. You're playing your revolution card, but you are at exactly 15 points. I could play Higher Assassin as a Blitz card in order to reduce you below the number of points you need to win and undo that, uh, that threshold that you need. So this Define the Truth card is one card that is extremely interesting because it lets you substitute in one citizen type for another citizen type on a card. So if you're going to play a card that has some particular citizen type on it, what do you got there? So Propaganda card, uh, you play this all the time during the game. Uh, normally it would just take a proletariat from another player, but if you played it along with a Define the Truth, uh, that would let you replace the citizen type and you can say, I'm going to now take a Commissar from another player. Um, the game also has this double think card. That's a blitz. It lets you draw two cards. So if somebody does something and you're not sure if you like it, you can go immediately fishing into your draw pile to try to come up with other blitz cards that might allow you to do that. There are also cards that let you take cards back from your discard pile as a blitz. So if there's some interrupt or counter card that you played before that you would like to play again in response to your nonsense, you can go fishing immediately back in there for it. You can even go fishing back for a double think to let you draw new cards again. So there are lots of options for very fast and reactive play that I think are really cool. So double speak is a card that I think is extremely cool in this game. Let's get that one on the camera there. Double speak lets you replace the word counter in a card with the word duplicate or replace the word draw with the word discard as that card is being played. So how does that work in practice? So say I had played my revolution card and you played stifle free speech on it. Uh, so that would counter my revolution. Uh, I could then play double speak on the stifle free speech, which would replace the word counter with duplicate and therefore it would duplicate my revolution. And you would win twice. Yep. So, and the practical upshot of that might be that while you are winning twice, if someone else has a stifle free speech that they want to use to stop you from winning, they would have to literally stop you from winning twice in order to actually prevent you from winning. That's exactly right. Uh, so, Cogs and Commissars is a game that is full of all of these kinds of different actions, uh, which really make it unique among other card games. That's something that I really like about it. Me too. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll come back with some more videos about Cogs and Commissars.